Hi and welcome to a lecture on urinary tract infections. Before we get to discuss therapeutic choices, let's take a look at some of the basic terms pertaining to urinary tract infections. Cystitis. Cystitis is the medical term for inflammation of the bladder and is commonly referred to as a urinary tract infection. Most of the time, the inflammation is caused by a bacterial infection. Note here that a bladder infection can be painful and annoying and it can become a serious health problem if the infection spreads to the kidneys. Now, let's get to discuss therapeutic choices. Pharmacologic choices, sulfamethoxazole and trimethoprim. Sulfamethoxazole in combination with trimethoprim and trimethoprim as monotherapy are the drugs of choice for most urinary tract infections if the local rates of resistance are less than 20%. Both these agents may be used as three-day therapy for acute uncomplicated urinary tract infections. Resistance to sulfamethoxazole in combination with trimethoprim and trimethoprim as monotherapy is increasing and must be considered in individuals who have either failed empiric therapy or who have had recent preotherapy with these agents. Amoxicillin and amoxicillin with clavulinate. Resistance of E. coli to amoxicillin limits its current use. Amoxicillin is reserved for urinary tract infections with either streptococci or enterococci when the infecting organism is known to be susceptible. Amoxicillin is not recommended for empiric therapy of uncomplicated urinary tract infections as it will be about 20% less effective than the combination of trimethoprim with sulfamethoxazole. Fluoroquinolones The renally excreted fluoroquinolones such as ciprofloxacin, levofloxacin, norfloxacin and ofloxacin are as effective as trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole for a three-day treatment of acute uncomplicated urinary tract infections due to susceptible organisms. Cephalosporins All cephalosporins including cephaclor, cephazolin, cefixim, cefiroxim and cephalexin are effective for the treatment of urinary tract infections. These agents are not as well studied as trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole or the fluoroquinolones and are somewhat less effective for acute cystitis, especially with short courses of therapy.